Oh, he's down, he's down. That's a bad crash for Chris Harper. Oh, that's a bad one indeed. And, uh, well, we'll widen that shot and give him a moment. And he is moving about, and that is great to see as they race to try and recover. And he's also down in pursuit. That's Ben O'Connor. Ben O'Connor hits, hits the deck. And, uh, well, the two Aussies, O'Connor quickly back on his, uh, on his feet. And I think... Chris Harper, too, is just starting to uh, come to terms. And he's still down, though, and that is difficult. And great to see that the rest of the group are managing to make, through, make their way through. And hopefully, we can get some assistance to Chris Harper as soon as possible. But it looks like he's sitting up, so that's some relief at any rate. But that was a horrific moment for Chris Harper. Well, they're getting a bike ready for him, so you'd never know. Let's not rule it out. Let's hope there's been no serious uh, outcome. And tighten it up a little bit, see that he's sitting up. So that's some relief. Not sure if he sustained any uh, lingering after effects of that. But what a shocking moment for the Australian rider. So let's get a look at this. Is just, uh, oh, he just hit a pothole, didn't he? And of course, he was on the brakes. And that's really nasty when he hit the curb like that. Went down on his right shoulder. Collision with the plinth of the uh, lamppost there, and I, I really hope that uh, they spend quite a bit of time assessing the situation. Ben O'Connor in pursuit. There's, we're just going to follow the lead group at this point. O'Connor has already got back on his wheels. They'll take a the time. And I kind of hope that's it for the day, actually, for Chris Harper. I know probably shouldn't speculate, but... Uh, Nasty old collision down on his uh, shoulder. I wouldn't the manhole cover, the pothole, whatever it was, lifted the rear wheel. And then, of course, there was no way that he could get through that turn. That's quite a high curb. And a few scuff marks. Evidence, too, of a really difficult crash. And uh, whoo, he's shaking his head is Ben O'Connor. Frightening moment. He's just uh, coming to terms with it himself, I think. Sergio Aguida was up front with the race leader Simon Carr for a while. It's a chilly day out for him. He's got the jacket on, the long and the gloves as well. And it's track mitts for the man up front. There's the tail of the tape. It's a little bit shorter, as you can see, just over four kilometers and a little bit uh, shallower at 7.2%. There's a little bit of an 11.6 uh, section in there, but this is a little bit easier and the fairly small, small ring. What a response from the F Education Easy Post squad. They have done what they've needed to do after a tough couple of days of racing, dropping down the, uh, the order in GC. But Simon Carr, for the second successive year, the 25-year-old Englishman from Herefordshire, is going to get his arms in the air. It's a solo victory, the longest in the history of this race. Another record-setting performance from Simon Carr as he takes victory on stage four of Tour of the Alps. Glory for the EF Education Easy Post squad. Absolutely massive effort. The attacks are coming. O'Connor's recovered. Wants to set something up. Storer is going to uh, latch on here. Juan Pedro Lopez doesn't want to close the gap. But that's a threat. And potentially, Ben O'Connor could uh, claim a few more seconds back in the fight for general classification. Rear guard action for the Aussie after his crash. Tiberi is going to close it down. And uh, Juan Pedro Lopez not first to close it. And it's Storer that latches on to... Ben O'Connor, who's going to close the gap? Is there time for them to get there? They're in the cobbles, but still a way to go before they come to that final bend. Michael Storr perhaps potentially going to pinch some bonus seconds here, but uh, an opportunity for Ben O'Connor to get a little bit close. And after doing so much great work, this potentially could be a little fly in the ointment in the defense of his uh, green jersey. Ben O'Connor, what a fabulous response detached on the last climb after that uh, difficult moment and he's through the final bend and Storr is just going to pinch second place on the line but Ben O'Connor with some bonus seconds and a couple of seconds gained perhaps as Antonio Tiberi comes with a late run maybe to close it down it's just going to be a, a gap of a second or two Storr second Ben O'Connor third Tiberi fourth across the line hold on and Ben O'Connor as you can see he can breathe a sigh of relief and now we start to see the effect of that uh, 
He, I, and I'm pretty sure he's explaining exactly what happened on that uh, on that left-hander. 